had that conversation about Which the sexual harassment yes. allegations against Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein. There is really, and we we're talking about that muted reaction from. Said, where are all the, the leading uh, people in Hollywood? Some corners of the media as well and Hollywood. Well, now Meryl Streep is speaking That's out a big as one. reported in the Huffington Post. Her full statement reads, and it just came out. The disgraceful news about Harvey Weinstein has appalled those of us who work, whose work he championed, and those whose good and worthy causes he supported. The intrepid women who raise their voices to expose this abuse are heroes. One thing can be clarified, not everybody knew. Harvey supported the work fiercely, was exasperatingly but respectful with me in our working relationship and with many others with whom he worked professionally. I didn't know about these other offenses. I did not know about his financial settlements with actresses and colleagues. I did not know about his having meetings in his hotel room, his bathroom, or other inappropriate coercive acts. And if anybody knew, I don't believe that all the investigative reporters in the entertainment and the hard news media would have neglected for decades to write about it. The behavior is inexcusable, but the abuse of power familiar. Each brave voice that is raised, heard, and credited by our watchdog media will ultimately change the game. So, Mika, very good. I mean, very important, too, for anybody that is afraid to speak out. You have, you know, per perhaps the most celebrated, uh, successful actress I love it. in Hollywood good has for come her. out. And spoken strongly about it, about her beliefs. Yeah, and we. This is at a time like this, we need to hear from powerful women who have aligned themselves, benefited from, gotten money from Harvey Weinstein anyway, whether it's political or Hollywood related, because we then give voice to the women who don't have a voice. But right. we should so also hear from out. men, just as much. Oh, yeah. right. oh yeah, and yeah. men, absolutely. Exactly. You know, you're absolutely right, and I, I keep making that mistake. We need to hear from women and men. And Elise. How important is that again that it it comes from Meryl Streep, who is again one of the most celebrated actresses of our time, one of the greatest actresses of our time. Probably and good friends with him. So, and obviously owes a lot to him. He owes a lot to her. That's exactly when you speak out. When it's not easy, the easy to, thing do, to do, but she just did. Well, and it gives space to women who are questioning should they come forward. Right. It gives them, it helps give them the strength to know that they're being backed up and supported by the community. And Mika, yeah. I give you huge props. Three book deal, you're, you could take a financial hit. You're choosing to do the right thing because you do not appreciate or respect the way that they this company has treated women. No, and well, so not that Harvey was, Weinstein. You came, you did it early. Lena Dunham did it early. Her producer Jenny Conner did it early, which I really respect. They're putting their money where their mouth right. is. And women like Merrill, and you look at, you know, someone like Rose McGowan who had talked yeah. about for years an anonymous producer, a powerful mm -hmm. mogul who had raped her. Yeah. And she had had to endure this for years. And I think that women have a responsibility to come out and support well, and I, I definitely, you know, he's he's stepped down. I said I would I would not do the book deal unless he did. I I I have to say though, I I want more. I want to know that this company does not embrace sexual abusers, sexual harassers, and I I want to have a conversation with them yeah. before I move forward, because this is step one. Step two is having a wider conversation about the culture. Within an organization that, of course, starts at the top. And again, you, you said the people that you've worked with at Hachette are great. They're, well, the, first of all, they're all women. Wonderful. I work with the all female team and they're incredible. Yeah. And I look forward to working with them more, so I hope this works out. But yeah. for their sake, and uh, quite frankly, to, this doesn't end with Harvey Weinstein stepping down. No. This is just the beginning. Well, he didn't step down. He got pushed out, which uh, and uh, I, said something. And I just, company. I think that we also need to. Just look at what Gretchen Carlson started mm -hmm. by speaking out. And, you know, Amanda Carpenter tweeted that it was the first time in her lifetime she can remember a woman speaking out about sexual harassment and not being judged for it. And I couldn't agree more with that. I can't think of a time before Gretchen that a woman could come out and it wasn't somehow because of the way she dressed, the way she behaved, this and that. And Gretchen, it kind of opened up a new era where more people are being open. I, I think will. It needs to happen in real time, though. Mm -hmm. 
it needs to happen in real time and it needs to happen when you're when it is at a cost to you even and women need to have a space to do that so they don't pay the ultimate price. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.